your bed. I thought you weren't getting in until this morning. Well, uh, craziness at home. You know, got a late start. Yeah. But the good news is we're here now. You guys look funny. Is there bad news? The bad news is uh, we can't stay. No. Really? Mm. Yeah. We spoke to Dr. Evans this morning, and he just said that um, you're well enough to travel now. We're taking you home, son. <laughs> I can't go. Not until I know Danny's okay. Dad, why are we stopping? I mean, seriously, Ross, we're in the middle of nowhere. What's the matter with you people? Why well, haven't you found Rayburn? Sir, we're doing everything we can. Well, you should do more than Todd, you might not want to alienate the people who are looking for our daughter. Which one of these people is looking? And how hard can it be to find a gun-toning maniac who drove off with a woman and child? We gotta ditch the car. Look, here? Here? Yes, here. By now, the cops have circulated a description of me, the two of you, and this car. The minute we stop for gas, we're dead. That you love Danny, but this has gotten way out of control, Ross. Maybe it's time you turned yourself in. I got a better idea. You know, you were right, Todd. This is all my fault. <laughs> if it weren't for me, Danny wouldn't be where she is right now, wherever that is, and I'd have a Blair. I mean, I'm sure you're really upset about Blair right now. <gasps> I hope Blair is safe. And I'm glad she's with Danny, because as much as we hate each other, I know that she would do anything to protect the child. All right, everybody out of the car. I'm going to trade this puppy in for a new model. Oh, where? Don't worry, honey. Your old man's got it under control, okay? Hey, what are you doing in there? Oh, you caught me, Ross. I was trying to make a mad getaway. Look, give... A girl has some time to put on her shoes, all right? I mean, move out of the way. It's not like I can go anywhere anyway out of here in Bigfoot country. Exactly. No one's going to find the car out here. This is crazy. Hey, Danny, I know you're scared, but trust me, once we get across the border into Canada, we can start a new life, all right? Just you and me. What do you say? Yeah. I'm tired and I want something to eat. Okay, well, hang in there. I'll get you something. Hey! What do you got in the bag? Okay, Matthew, we understand that you're worried about Danny. And we know that uh, her father has Blair with him now, too. Okay, but we really need to get back to Landview. Then go. I'll be fine. Just come get me when she comes back. I'm sure that the local PD is doing everything it can to find her. Now, we'll keep you uh, informed about what's happening, you know, when it's happening. Look, when me and Danny were busting out of Warwick, she could have ditched me. Who needs an accomplice in a wheelchair? But she stuck by me, so I'm sticking by her. Wow, I, I didn't realize the two of you had become such good friends. Well, I guess when two people go through something that big together, they get closer. Hmm. You sent me to get that. We hear you, Matthew. No, we understand. But you're not going to let me stay. Oh, sweetheart, this may be difficult to accept, but there's really nothing that you can do for Danny here. Except be here, like she was for me in London. Look, guys, you already put me on a plane once and took me away from my friends. Just listen to me. I have to stay here. I'm needed here. You're not really giving us much of a choice. So what is she like? Excuse me? Danny, what is she like? What kind of music does she listen to? She gets student? Does she have any friends? Don't tell me she has a boyfriend yet. Daniela is like you. Very complex. <laughs> Come on, tell me about her. I'd like to get to know her in case I get a chance to be far. Or when I get a chance to be far. Oh, come on. What are you, what are you doing? I want to talk about our daughter and, and you're going to work? 
the hell? This isn't my work briefcase. Yes, I know. That's... I remember that briefcase. That's when you flipped out about when you couldn't find it. What the hell's in there is so important. A story of our daughter's life. You know, when you took my phone, all that's left in here now is a wallet and a lipstick. Really? Yeah. Now, I know you're holding out on me, Blair. When I took your phone, I saw the snacks you were hoarding in there. Come, hey, my daughter's hungry. Well, you know what? Why don't you turn yourself in, and then maybe I can take her someplace nice, all right? We can share it if you want. No, that's, that's okay. I'm going to hold out for a real meal, because it's not like we can be on the run forever. Hey, look, we need to do something about the car. Okay. Look, I know it's hard to see right now, but my dad really is a good guy. Yeah, well, I know he can be. No, he is. He wouldn't be doing any of this if he didn't feel backed into a corner. Many people do crazy things when they're desperate. Excuse me. Get a little help here. Looks like we'll be staying in Seattle a little longer. Thank you. Well, we certainly don't want to take you away from a friend who needs you. And I'll call the local PD, find out the latest on Danny and Blair. Thanks, Dad. You're the best. <laughs> and we'll be right back. Hey. Um, are you planning on asking around or getting involved? Well, I plan to ask around. And Blair's a friend. If she's in trouble, then, you know. Okay. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. I feel a lot better with that on the case. Now I know they'll find her. Yeah. I'm still caught up on... Taya having a daughter we knew nothing about. And then we just so happened to go to the same boarding school in London. I know, right? And how did, how did you guys end up getting so close? I don't know. We uh, talked. What'd you talk about? Music? Movies? <laughs> the two of you having crazy lawyer mothers? <laughs> eh? Eh? Oh. Yeah, it's 